Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Saeed Shah and in this demonstration, I will be showing how to install a squid forward proxy server for HTTP and HTTPS on a seven, CentOS 7 64-bit uh, uh, distribution. So to begin, I am already logged into a minimal installation of CentOS 7 and uh, I've logged in as the root account and uh, I will install squid with all its dependencies. So I've got a number of packages here and depend dependencies which are installing now. Okay. So now Squid is installed, I would like to check the status. So at the moment it's not running, so let's start it up. And also let's make sure that this starts up at boot time. And if I go back to checking the status of Squid, I can see uh, it's running here. So firstly, what I would like to do is uh, get the IP address of this machine so we can see if it's working so you can see there the IP is 192.168.1.135 um, okay for the purposes of this demonstration what I will do uh, I will just say this this uh, this proxy server is going to be sitting on the internal network and uh, the firewall is currently enabled, normally it's enabled by default. Uh, so I will switch the firewall off. And also I will, I think I've disabled the firewall and I will stop the firewall as well. Okay, so now I don't have a firewall running and uh, the IP is 135, 192.168.1.135 and this proxy will be running on port 3128, I believe. I can check this. Let's see, I will go into the squid configuration of fire. Let's have a look at that. So this is the squid configuration file. I've just opened it up in VI editor. The HTT ports you can see here is 3128. So squid listens on port 3128. Uh, by default, it's going to only allow the local network. You can see here the local subnets. So for now, this is okay. Uh, if I clear the screen, let me just double check the IP address again. Yeah, 135. So I have another machine, uh, a VM, which is a Windows 10 workstation. And what I will do is I will log on to that this virtual machine and I will set the proxy up on this connections internet option connections and what I will do is I will set the proxy up here and port 3182 so you you put the you enable this proxy server here in IE Internet Options on the connections, set 
I'm going to put the IP address of the proxy server here and the port number, which is 3128. Hit OK. OK. And this should work. Yeah. So if I check some other website. MSN.com. Okay, MSN doesn't run on HTTPS. MSN runs on HTTP. Oh dear. Okay, it's being blocked. It's blocked by another external uh, filter. So I will check, let's say, BBC website, call it UK. We can see that that work, website works. And we can check that the traffic is actually going through the, uh, the squid. Just going to find the squid log files. So access log. So if I look at the contents of the access log, we should see those websites here. So we can see that we went to Google. Uh, you can see there on one of the lines, the block page for bt.com and bbc.co.uk. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, this traffic is going through the squid box. So this is this is the server. And this is the workstation that we've got configured. And uh, let's try something else. Let's try sky.com. This is a HTTPS site. There is a bit of a delay going through the proxy, but uh, it didn't take too long. I can try something else. I can try Microsoft.com, HTTPS as well. Okay. Yeah. So if I minimize this session from the Windows 10, and I go back to my squid proxy box and let's have a look at the access logs again. We can see here the sites that we've just been to uh, www.microsoft.com. Uh, Windows update is there. There's some Bing traffic. Yeah. So so if I clear the screen, so this is a simple proxy server that can proxy HTTP and HTTPS. There is other options that you can configure, but we won't go into them now. That's for a more advanced uh, squid proxy server. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. And if you if you like, please just uh, subscribe for any future videos. And uh, if you do find it useful, please definitely hit the like button. And I would love to hear any comments you have about this video. Thank you.